This program here introduces the students into Fire 1 and 2 tactics that will satisfy the state of Michigan fire certification. So what the students will learn is how to throw ladders safely, how to quickly and safely extinguish a fire, how to recognize the need, certain different type of emergencies. It gives these kids hope because at the end of the program, they can actually test for the state of Michigan certification. And if they're hired on the fire department, that is a life-changing career. When the students come into this class, I expect them to be ready to learn, be eager. I expect them to, to put their best effort and put their best foot forward and to learn something different every single day. So here today, the kids are learning vehicle extrication. What they're gonna be using is our jaws of life, as you guys call it in the public, but they're actually called our spreaders. I'm a big proponent of taking the roof off. Open that car up. If we're doing an extrication, the car's totaled. I'm big for us. Take the roof, open it up, and see what we got. They're gonna learn how to extinguish a vehicle fire. They're gonna actually learn how to set up a foam operation and actually locate and know when to use foam. This is, it, it is extremely important for the students to get hands on. We could talk about this all day, but until you actually pull that pin and feel that discharge of the of the fire extinguisher, you really cannot get the full feel of an actual fire extinguisher. Also too, filling when it's empty because you don't want to stay in a hazardous situation if the fire extinguisher is empty. You want to back out of there uh, just in case it starts to flare back up. So what you may hear from us is, you know, you're going to attack the fire and then when it's out, we're going to say it's out, back out. We always want to make sure you back out. That way if the fire reflashes, you can attack it again. If your equipment isn't working, you're only as good as your equipment. You have to get out of there. Life safety is the first thing that we think about whenever we approach any situation. So our life safety is first. So if these kids, cadets, or even us as firefighters, we get to the seat of a fire or get to a fire and it, let's say our whole string isn't working or the fire stingers there isn't working, we, we are to back out. See, hey, where the problem is or get some new equipment in there to help fight the, that fire. My counselor at every high school and my English teacher, Miss Elliott, introduced me to this program and I just thought, it was uh, something I could check out. I learned a lot of things that I didn't think I would learn. Find your, uh, find your weaknesses, find your strengths, work towards whatever it needs uh, to be worked on. Do your work on time, do it early. It's really, really a good program to get into, definitely. It covers some of your credits for school. It's really, a lot of it's based around teamwork. Obviously, if you're going into a fire, you're not going in by yourself, trying to fight it by yourself, so you need at least a partner to go in with you clear a house or whatever. You really need to build a, a good bond with your, your classmates or teammates. Um, a lot of it is team oriented around that. More of it is based on your mental as well, mental strength around the classroom and along with the physical part of it. Have fun with the class, take it seriously, and you'll learn a lot. About, I was about four years old when I decided that I thought this career would be my best option. You learn a lot of new stuff that you'll find interest in. But yeah, main thing is like objectives, like those are very important. I used to go outside and just watch the trucks go by and I just thought, well, this is something that I wanna do. Just keep pushing, man. Don't, don't look behind, keep looking forward. I saw a burning building across the street and ever since then I've been wanting to join the firefighter program since I was seven. This is cool because last year class did not get an opportunity to be a part of this. We were able to get this together this year and actually some of the students who are in the EMT program here at Hill, we actually invited them over and they actually participated with us. So they, they have fun. For, according to them <laughs> and my students, they state that this is probably the best day that they had throughout the uh, academy this year so far.